Adelaide is a mental health promotion charity that uh, aims to reduce the risk of suicide through doing interactive performances in schools, uh, communities and workplaces all around Australia. We've been doing it for around about a decade now. What MindBlank have done is we've developed an interactive training program that aims to equip organisations to take a more preventative approach to mental ill health in the workplace. By focusing on workplace culture and by providing tools for businesses to effectively manage mental health issues as they arise. Real stories of lived experience of mental ill health in the workplace scenes. We look at what's at work there, what's happening inside those scenes. Do we recognise anything in our own workplace that's happening in there as well? So we know where the character gets to and then we have a chance to go back in time inside that video resource and maybe try and create better outcomes. And we basically want to create a safe space so that organisations can have proactive conversations about mental health. Now, no, we want the staff who look at it to be able to then click on the, the, the questions and, and uh, for each scenario. We, we, we talked about this last week. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I must have missed that. Just, Jesus, look, fine. I'll, look, I'll, watch, I'll watch what we've got, I'll figure it out myself. Okay. Um, yeah, good, okay, see ya. What? What can we do here? What are, what are some of the signs, first off, that Peter's not coping with this new kind of remote working from home? You, have you got um, Tina and Steve? Did they send you the video the next one of our work up? No, they haven't yet. Um, did what? you want me to follow up with them, or is that something... Well, they were meant to do. send it to you on Monday, and it's already Friday. Yeah. Like, Pete? Yeah? Yeah. You're getting, you're getting frustrated, and it's OK. I can follow up with them today, because I have some time to do that. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, that's cool. Good I'll thanks. follow up with them after this phone call. Given that it is also employees' responsibility to take care of their own mental health in the workplace, as much as it is the organisation to do that, I keep hearing the word empowered and disempowered. And so, yeah, for her to to get herself into a place of empowerment is really it seems to be really important. Having to to carry this carry news. And I know, you know, we're dealing with this and I keep thinking about what you're talking about with the police and what they've been through and what they see, etc. And it seems like pretty mild, mild stuff, but it's, we're, we're, we're having a conversation that can also travel, you know, in its extremes, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So what can he, he's, what's the long-term, you know, effect of him having to carry this weight, having to put people, send people on leave without actually telling them the truth of what's going on? There is some way that we can change the existing culture. Yeah, better communication. There is stuff like that where the employees are like, there is no policy for me to find that path. And that's something that the organisation can take away from the mental health workshop and find ways to put that into their own business practice. They can see where the gaps are and where their staff are feeling lost and start to implement some of those things. So it's really great that that highlighted that for you.